Hello again and a Westbridge Hills welcome back to episode number 8 with me Mr. Silly P. Right, waiting for this crop to harvest. I have been here a while but it is starting to just about now. And believe me it has taken some time but it has now, that's the main thing. So, into the harvester we go. And we'll get cracking, try and clear this field. By the end of the episode, I want to have it cleared, seeded, fertilised, ready to go again. That's the plan. Um, sell off whatever canola we get. Um, and then see where we are at the end of the episode. Um, I would imagine the next one will be a tiny bit at the start. Uh, selling silage. I'm going to do that off camera. Because it's going to take a while. And then probably look into a new field maybe. Maybe a new harvester. Maybe a few more cows. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. That's the plan, but we need to get this field done first. There's a couple of odds and ends type jobs that need doing along the way through the episode, but nothing major. intending at some point probably to grab a stump grinder buy one from a store and I'll do all that off camera um, and while harvest is going or seeders are going I'm going to whiz off with the JCP skid steer and start grinding out some of the stumps because over the last two three episodes I've done early late evening logging been cutting down plenty of trees but I haven't been grinding the stumps out and I certainly haven't been replacing them so grind those stumps out so now what will happen I'll come to see the field later on in the series and forget the stumps are there and I'll try and go over it with a seed or something and it'll be catastrophic so stumps need to go but you need not worry yourselves with that, I will do it. So back to the same old, same old, trying to get this trailer at a funny angle to unload. I do seem to be perfecting it. That said, I'm about to probably make a complete hash of it, but never mind. As I said, trying to find that sweet spot. It's proving elusive. There we go. Jump into the C6. much left to do, probably just over half the field I think. We are getting there a bit of time. The tank's not very big on the harvester but 
We are getting there. We are. We are. I will give this one the harvest around for this one now. I will not destroy the crops. Even though I can't. Mentally, I won't do it. Seems weird, doesn't it? Some of the rules you kind of in place on yourself, put in your head. Some of the things I will do, like turn the time up, which you have to do when you're doing the silage selling because the hoppers won't work, or sometimes if a crop's taking a bit of a long time, you just up it to five times, maybe 15 times. You'll justify that in your head, no problem at all. But that kind of no driving on the crops rule, it kind of becomes a hard and fast rule in your head. You're just not prepared to break it. Weird, that... Right, let's line this back up and get on with this field. kind of bouncing ahead in between every couple of rows here but it's a slow process and even doing that it's a struggle to fit it all into an episode so bear with me I don't want to sort of drag this over too many more it's been two episodes now just on this field <laughs> so I need to get this one done if I ever get the trailer under here Again. Mind you, though, that trailer's filling up. Should be a tidy little bit of money in there. Just over a thousand per ton. So, what we're looking at 11, 1200 per ton. 32,000 litres in the trailer. 38. 40,000 it's not bad for one trailer right last couple of rows Okay. And yeah, it's going to be the flour mill again, isn't it? Even though the price has come down a bit from the last time we went to the flour mill, it's still the best price you're going to get. This Schluter is a good little tractor. I do like it. You pull a load like this, no problem. I 
And here we are with the flower mill. Let's see what we get. That's the one bonus to selling the canola. Is you kind of get that instant hit into the bank account. During the whole crop harvest of the canola means you have to wait until you can sell it on. Yeah, that's all right. Much needed boost to the bank account. Can't be much left to harvest, really. Yeah, just thinking, oh, actually, while I'm here, while I'm here, we've got a little bit of money in the bank, let's get some chickens. Forty nine plus the cockerel should be fifty. Okay, they'll start giving us some eggs. A bit of extra income. With not too much outlay to be fair. And that's it. Done. Harvested all in. Now the tricky business of seeding and fertilizing. Now, been a bit sneaky here. I've parked the Schluter with the trailer down along the side of the wall, so hopefully the harvester will sit high enough that the actual pipe will reach in and I won't have to muck around trying to unload it. And that's worked really nicely. Just need a little bit of elevation just to get it up out off the side of the trailer. I'll probably stick that load into the silo again. It's not enough in there to warrant driving over to the flour mill to sell it. So I'll stick it in storage. Then we've built up a little bit of canola in there with odds and ends from the finishing of crops. I'll uh, take it and sell it. I'll get in here today because at some point I might give it a jet wash and I may well even sell it. There's no point parking up properly. Right, let's start the seeding. Get this going. Couple of strips at to the top. Right. What I had in there, I have just put into the silo for storage. When I park up the trailer, I grab the fertiliser spreader, and always out. Well, this is ready to start fertilising, or actually start fertilising. See how far the seed has got along. It's not too bad when the farm's this size, when you've got a few bits of equipment, very few tractors, very few harvesters. Remembering where all your stuff is very easy. So when you start getting more and more of it and it's spread across the farm and the farmland, remembering where you left things <laughs> becomes a lot harder. Um, yeah, and so you have to keep using the, uh, the kind of help menu, flicking through till you find the piece of equipment you want, just so you remember where it is. Might as well fertilise the road while I'm at it. Right, done my couple of strips across the top. Three, I think it was in the end. Now we'll start with the up and down. Vader Stack's a good st good seeder. If you haven't got one, get one.
Right, to do a bit of seeding myself. Save myself a bit of money with the, uh, with the fees. Just making sure I line up that front fender mud guard, whatever you want to call it, with the edge of the strip. That way I should line up the cedar better. Right, I was thinking actually when I took a couple of bits back how dirty everything was. So while that's going, get myself a jet wash and I'm going to clean a few bits of equipment. All my evening logging sessions have taken their toll on the, uh, the poor little JCB and it is absolutely filthy. Um, as you can see on the front I've got the stump grinder. I have been off in between doing bits and bobs just grinding stumps out. Um, I have got a few left to do up towards the diner and the spinnery but for the most part I've done quite a lot of them. Clean this off so you can see up the windscreen. That's looking much better, much much better. I can actually see it's yellow now, wow. Strip the fertilizer. I'm not going to do much more because the seed is still going. It's plodding on. It is getting there. I'm not going to do partially one. Should be fine. Looks right on the right hand side. I haven't gone over the other bit, but I missed a load on the left hand side. That's weird. I must have sprayed that first trip really, really badly. Yeah, I'm still missing it. I must have gone on a diagonal. Weird. Okay, well, never mind. Still getting done. And now vivate.
Okay, so he's nearly done. Last strip. Then we'll get the last bit of fertilizer in. And that'll be pretty much us for today, I think. Going much better than the last couple of strips I did. It's quite frankly were appalling. Do there. Seems to have been a long old hole this time. Probably because it was broken up over two episodes. And we are done. Okay. Field 16. Seeded, fertilised, and good to go. Part this up leave the fertilizer and i believe that will be us for today's episode all that's left to do that's nearly half past eight in the evening go back to the farmhouse have a bite to eat and go to bed ready for tomorrow which will probably end up being silage selling and buying of new equipment, I would imagine. We shall see. But anyway, thanks for watching.